Oh, wow. Oh, it looks like but we're, we're going ready to, to go now. Yeah, Zone going trainer. Zone going Pokemon trainer, which is oh, another Oh, yeah, character. yeah. Yeah, he's... Yeah, this is a... Had a trainer for a long back. while, actually. Yes. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Plant trainer. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting. Again, Plant being one of those, again, very odd matchups. Plant being one of those characters where they have, like, three godlike moves and then, <laughs> yeah. like, everything else. Yeah, but yeah. Plant being a character that got, you know, a few buffs. You know, I think forward air is a little bit more powerful. I think up air is a little bit more disjointed. Um, okay. And, you know, Fiendish already sort of showing the three moves that are good. You know, you've got that, <laughs> that gentleman jab is yeah. absolutely ridiculous. There is no lag on that thing. And the Patui as well is so, it's a move that you've just got to expect. Yeah, you really do. Patui is a really great projectile. But there is one way to deal with it. The uh, Razor Leaf. Oh, but jeez, the down B bite. Oh, the up air, Jesus. Oh, my goodness. That was such a... <laughs> That killed so early. I mean, you were right at the top of the screen, but also, like, oof. Yeah. I respect, I respect the roll read switch. coming out. Oh, the Patui. Oh, right. See you later. Yeah, that spike ball being act. It is an active hitbox whenever it's on screen. Like, even yeah. if it's just rolling off the floor a bit, it's still active. Um, I'm liking I'm liking the use of side B from Fiendish to sort of force zone into an option fairly early on. Um, oh, he gets caught. Ooh, <laughs> oh, I like that. There's a bit of lag. <laughs> yeah, you've got to be so, so careful. Yeah, and Zone just using the side B, knowing that the Patui was out, just sort of going straight for that side B, knowing that Fiendish couldn't really deal with it at that point. Oh, the Hydro Pump. That's put him in a good spot. So it's just Ivy goes past the ledge, but in way too much lag. Going to get grabbed for that. Back off stage goes the parry on the down B. Oh, he goes yeah. high again. <laughs> I do I do like the entire terms given that, you know, the massive hitbox that is Ivysaur's down air is definitely something that Fiendish is going to have to watch out for. Oh, he's gone. Charizard <laughs> up air. He's a... Oof. Charizard is... is a big boy. <laughs> a large lad. But, <laughs> you know, 90%. And this is, a, this is actually quite a difficult thing. And, you know, maybe questioning... The smash ball pick here because you know Patui being able to just sort of cover oh. the platform. Oh, back air! So back air coming in. I think that I think that also got buffed in the oh, really? patch as well. Yeah. All the damage from the poison cloud. Yeah, and also Zone has got to be very wary of their shield right now. Oh, They're actually, gets a lot stage. of damage from that. Damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Ooh. and Squirtle being a very, very light lad. It's got to be careful, you know, 43%. You're still going to mm. be taking you know, a lot of damage, a lot of knockback. I like the Ivysaur pick there, knowing that actually 54% is not safe for me right yeah. now. Yeah. I don't think we'll see Squirtle again. Sticking to Ivy for the moment. Gets Patooied. Charizard, yeah. get, oh. Charizard gets Patooied. <laughs> yeah, I'm and he's got a hitbox. He's going oh. for it. Oh, wow. beautiful stuff from Fiendish. Just, you know... I think a, I think noticing that um, you know all the way throughout that set, Phoenix should have sort of standing up roll ledge, and then more going for like you know Patui or yeah. an aerial, and so then just going for that up smash, particularly with the side B sort of covering the option. Yeah, extra um, damage as well too. Yeah. Yeah, and just again that side B just forces zone into an option. You can't stay on that ledge because you're going to take so much damage. Yeah. And then that hard read working out, and that is a real solid yeah, that, mono that lead. That plant up smash, man, that is some dangerous stuff. It's so, it's so, so powerful. It kills ludicrously early, like sub 100 fresh. Yeah. Like, it's ridiculous. Particularly on a small stage like Smashville as well. Like, just, ah, oh, wild. <laughs> but I, re I really like, um at the end, he patooied the Squirtle, then patooied the Ivysaur, and then up smashed to the Charizard. So every Pokemon <laughs> getting some damage right there. <laughs> I think I think also I'm pretty sure Charizard got Patooied as well on the left. So I think he, got, <laughs> he got all three and then just killed him with the up smash. Goodness you me. Know. Yeah, you get you get equal treatment. You're you're, you're all eating the spike ball. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see whether Zone sticks with the trainer or whether he elects yeah. to go Palutena now. Uh, the trainer was doing really really well. Um, yeah, it was just in that last those closing moments. Yeah. 
yeah, sort of ate a bit of momentum and then sort of took it all the way. Mm. So it's going to be really interesting to see whether we're going to see the Palatina come out, whether Zone is really sort of oh, because Fiendish is out there as well. So whether we see it, whether we see it Stage, stage, yeah. Yeah, yeah there it is. <laughs> Palace went out for zone. Um, the tried and true main. Um, you know. Yeah. Secondaries are all well and good, but if you're wanting to advance in bracket, particularly at this quite early point, you know. Oh yeah. You don't want to go go for the tried and true main, but we will see it here and see sort of the adaptations that Fiendish can make both to the character and then seeing what data Zone has got in oh, this wow. game. That was a nice back air hitting that, the leg of Palutena's forward air. F smash, jeez. Misses though, it has yeah. hefty punish. Yeah, it, it does make you wonder whether Fiendish wanted that forward smash or maybe going mm. for some kind of forward tilt maybe. Um, Very true. We're seeing, we're seeing it already. Zone doing a really, really good job at sort of Calculating the movement around the Matui, knowing how good of an option it is. And oh, <laughs> that was such a good call on the roll as well. Yeah. Nine yeah, times out of ten, if you roll behind someone, they'll do something. And Fira is so good at doing it, like punishing on that. Yeah, sort of, you know, a lot of people expect, you know, that roll behind back throw. And yeah. Zone just being ready for it and being on that next level and taking the stock Definitely. only 60%. And again, if, you, if you're avoiding those two or three moves that you know, Plant can get on you, oh my god, I wonder if that would have broke shield. Yeah, I think the second hit missed, yeah, for sure. Oh, she gets the explosive flame? Jeez. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, really solid stuff. I'm liking the fact that Fiendish is willing to go for these sort of quite aggressive options, even <laughs> when, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that dash attack, jeez. Yeah, you're in so much hit stun. You're in so much hit stun from that neutral B that you've got so many, you've got so many options. I don't know what, you know, I don't know the exact frame data of Patui. Well, no jump on him right it. now. Yeah, there's a lot of shield pressure with that thing. Yeah, that was really, really good from Fiendish. I'm not sure if that was quite what zone was after, but <laughs> the down B. You've seen, yeah, you've seen the damage just rack up already. And I'm wondering when, you know, Fiendish is going to catch on to these sort of really high these really high jumps from ledge coming out from zone. He's gone for it quite a few times, mm. but avoiding the Patui, but also the movement being fairly linear. You've got to be so, so careful. Oh, the explosive flame again. Really catching yeah. out his uh, Patui attempt with the explosive flame when he drifts off. That was really good. Yeah, but you see already just the damage racket. Again. Plank can rack up damage so, so quickly. Mm. Going for that get up attack. Yeah, and you can see Fiendish is getting a little bit hungry for these kills here, sort of charging a couple of these smash attacks in situations where they're realistically they're not going to hit. Um, I would like to see Fiendish sort of slow the pace down maybe just a little bit and sort of. Oh, the explosive flames, man. <laughs> There's so many. Yeah, oh, wow. oh, man, actually oh, does get the were... forward smash. Plant was behind. Come on. Come ah, on. He's, got, he's, like... got a big, he's got a big head, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. Mm. Yeah. These the, the 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 privilege that Palatina possesses. Oh, she's so privileged. <laughs> she's sorry. Well, yeah. <laughs> we will we will agree to disagree to keep the positive <laughs> vibes. But that is that is some. I think I realized it recently. Um. So you know, obviously the patch came out recently, and we were all messing around with you know the characters that got buffed, and I you know I picked a pit for a little bit, and. Mm. Pit's aerials are so precise. Like, some characters have got such precise hitboxes. Yeah, yeah. I can relate and to that. And yet there are characters out here like Palutena, <laughs> like, you know, Chrom is another one where sometimes you look and you're like, how did that hit? <laughs> like, how, how were you able to hit that? Um, and Palu is definitely one of those characters where, like, you know, they just kind of slapped on a hitbox and 
Yep. Had a full bit of day. <laughs> but, um... Invi- but some of them back. are invincible too, but hey, you know, whatever. <laughs> you know, I mean, she's a goddess, I suppose. She's like that. Um, but, so, currently 1-1 in the set. Um, we saw Fiendish sort of getting a little bit hungry for that kill. Mm. And I would like to see, you know, in those situations where you're not necessarily a stock up, Fiendish going for, you know, slower options. Yeah. You know, instead of... Because there were a couple of times where, like, there were raw smash attacks in neutral. And oh, yeah. It's like, a player of the caliber of zone, you're not going to hit them with that. Yeah, someone as good as zone and, like, that, like, Palutena will punish you for being hungry for those kills, for sure. Yeah, and you can see already just the, you know, the bread and butter combos coming out from Palutena. And I like the fact that zone just challenged that side oh, wow. completely. <laughs> So he misses the um, reflect and then actually eats a plant down B from it. Jeez. Yeah, and this is the first time we've seen the reflector as well coming out from zone. Mm. Um, him electing more using movement to get around the Patui rather than yeah. you know, outright reflecting it. And I wonder if it's an option that you know it's be, he's been intentionally saving for this game three. Because now it's another factor that Fiendish has got to consider when throwing out that Patui. Ooh. Down oh, tilt movement. two frame. <laughs> yeah, reading that air dodge in with the down smash, you know, but Fiendish not giving it to him. Oh, it actually slips past the nair. Gets a back air. Up smash. Oh, lovely call! That was such a good call out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, God. oh, there's another one! Oh, <laughs> yeah, these broken oh, up goodness. smashes, man, coming out. <laughs> oh, so many reads. Grab your library cards, ladies and gentlemen. There's so <laughs> many good reads coming out here. Ah, uh, and this is the thing, like, and I've noticed this with, um, from fighting Palutena myself and also just watching, is that Palutena's got so many good options, like, like, a few good options that sort of cover everything. Yeah, and You yeah. have those moments, like, the reflector and the up smash, where, like, you know, you can use it, you can use your good options to, like, condition, and then use those other, still good but not as good options, to, like, pull out a habit. Oh, yeah. And I must admit, I don't, I've been talking and I haven't realized that, like, Fiendish has just taken, like, 140%. And I have no <laughs> idea where that came from. <laughs> Zone's been hitting a lot, a couple of bread and butters again. Back throws, I'm going to do it. Plant very heavy, I must remind everyone. Yeah, one of the heavier characters. That, that. It's yeah, the that pot. pot is a heavy pot. <laughs> There's a I lot mean, of soil. I mean, also, if you look at the fact that, like, Plant is, like, as tall as Palutena, that's got to be a big-ass pot. Like, <laughs> but that's true, yeah. Yeah, getting that stock quite early on. You know, 63% is not much of a lead, particularly if you know Venus has been going for a lot of these hard reads. Like, an up smash mm. will kill at this point. Yeah. Or oh, you can see going for another Patui, but sort of. Oh, you're not. Oh, wow. Yeah, and catching the up B just before, you know, she teleported away. That all came Ooh. from Ferrat trying to dash in with the dash attack. It actually, really backfired. <laughs> yeah, and this is the thing. Now Zone has got to really make a point of slowing down the pace of this because it seems yeah. like Fiendish has got a lot of momentum. And, you know, this is game three. This is your top 32 spot on the line right here. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, particularly with how early on in bracket this is, you don't want to get knocked into losers this early on. Good spot and back the do... uh, zone now. Yeah, oh, jeez. Oh, no. oh, I thought lovely. it was an up smash for a sec, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I love me call out with down smash. Like... Yeah. Oh, the Patui, that's oh, not gonna do it. Let's it? do it. We're wow. Done. We're done. That was. Fiendish gets into top 32 win aside. That is a, that's a big upset. That is a big upset. Damn. Jesus. That's solid. Solid stuff all around. Things just, just kept turning so much in the favor of either player for like every other second. <laughs> and it's just like, yeah, oh, it, like... It, it feels like, you know, Fiendish did a really good job at sort of using those different angles of Patui to keep Zone on his toes. Mm. And I'm really, really glad I was going to bring it up and I'm glad it didn't happen. Um, I'm glad that Fiendish was able to keep their composure in those mm. last moments. You have those moments, you know, it's game three, you're close to winning, you can taste yeah. it, you can taste that upset, you can taste the top 32 spot, and you start slipping. And we'd already seen earlier on that Fiendish was not afraid to sort of throw out more sort of unsafe options. Yeah. 
So I'm really, really glad that Fiendish sort of held it together, got a couple of nice reads, and went to top 32 winners. That is yeah. a big old upset. That is a big old upset.